Curry. Delicious life. Hey guys, so we just want to let you know ahead of time the video you're about to see it's a little uh, slanted <laughs> because <laughs> what we do is we set up the we set up the camera or the iPhone on a tripod here. But the problem is that this particular tripod it's very nice because it has these these three long legs, so it's nice to hold and hold at a distance. But look, they're three individual legs and they each bend and move differently. So to get it exactly evenly or exactly even is very difficult. Even if we look through the thing and it looks, and then, you know, you have to, our kitchen, I mean, Kirsch, you, you, you guys probably didn't see that, but behind, we set it on the counter, and between where that is and the wall is, there's not that much space to get your head down there and look and make sure it's perfectly angled, and anyway, so we just yeah. want to apologize. It's not our nystagmus. No, and it's not <laughs> our nystagmus. Anyway, we hope you enjoy the video anyway. Sorry about that, and in um, the future, yeah. we're going to get a different tripod, and that won't be a problem anymore, okay? Well, we have another one, but we, do. we just lost it for a second we'll find it also we just think of it hey you're getting the to see maybe you could listen to it like a fully a uh, totally blind person so you know yeah, if the visual you, bothers you just shut your eyes and yeah. listen <laughs> <laughs> you know use your other senses <laughs> see you guys thanks hope you enjoy bye hi guys welcome back to delicia's life i'm manny not delicia Today we are going to do a couple of things. Uh, first, we ordered Panda Express. So, we're going to go through and show you how we clean stuff. Now that, you know, with all the stuff going on and everything, you got to be extra cautious. And so, let's see. Delicious in the bedroom getting ready, doing some stuff. So, here's Delicious food. She got some Angus steak. And I got some orange chicken. You gotta try that next time. So, all this other stuff is gonna go be thrown in the trash. For example, they give us forks and things like that. Hi, Delisha, you wanna join mm -hmm. us? But Come I on. don't use the forks. You don't use the forks? We don't either. We're gonna throw them away because they're open, they're not wrapped and you know, plastic wrap. So, the only thing that we really do, guys, is just clean the outside, the boxes, because we're not gonna, obviously we're not gonna clean the food with disinfectant wipes. So, usually we get Clorox, but since it's impossible to find these days, all we could find was Clor Lysol. Oh, Lysol, what? Don't we use Clorox wipes, you, you said Clorox, like, just the... No, Clorox wipes. Oh, uh, did you say that? Well, we were talking about wipes. I'm gonna start with mine, because mine's more important. And bigger. And just do a nice little wipe down. And would this really, prevent anything and stop everything maybe not but it's better to do it just in case right yeah. it doesn't hurt anything so then since it's clean oh we also wipe off the to left i want one over there oh you want the well i guess it doesn't make any difference that's one and then we're gonna do delicious just because i'm here and we also wipe the counters too like we had the food that's right and then right well that was, that was gonna be the next step i wonder in the soda or water probably uh, water uh, 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 Oh, that's the next conversation about what we're going to be drinking, guys. So, then we can toss away this white. We don't have to, but we can. And then... We have to. We're, we're not going to save. Away. I know that. For, uh, yeah. And then we're going to throw away all this other stuff. They give us some mushrooms, which we don't eat. Yeah. Can, if y'all keep paying the express, maybe somebody could tell us why they give us mushrooms. It, like, because either they're in the food already or they're not. So, I, I don't know. Do, is it like a something they guess people want extra of? Or do they... Season them with something different. Like, should we be trying them next time? And then just do a quick little wipe down of the area where we had the food, the containers. And we also had the bag over here. So I'm just going to do a little bit of wiping. So then we should be relatively good to go. So just to let you guys know that in addition to the food that we're going to be eating today, we're going to be talking to you, did a little quiz, right? Uh-huh. I have a little quiz thing on my phone. We're also going to be trying, we've been reading a book series written yeah. by a wonderful author, I think we mentioned you guys before in the last video, named Harlan Coben. 
And this is an old series. He started in 1995, and he's had 11 books in the series. And the main character is named Myron Bolitar. Myron. <laughs> Myron. I know I was going to say Mylon, but I realized that was wrong. <laughs> Caught myself in the middle. Anyway, that particular character, his favorite drink is called Yoohoo, which is a, I believe, 100% non dairy chocolate tasting drink. And it comes in a can. You believe it's non dairy? You're not sure? I'm almost certain. <laughs> I can look at a can so and tell you the because back then they weren't using like coconut milks and uh, so it might be soy. Who knows? But we're gonna give it a shot because Why are you holding it's one of those things and lights off. Whatever. <laughs> so chocolate drink with Panda Express is, with Chinese food uh, is probably gonna be repulsive. But so we're gonna give it a shot. A, we should do it after we eat, right? And like wash our mouth yeah, out with water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe we'll do that at the end. Okay, guys, let's get set up and we'll start the quiz. All right, guys. But I still didn't get anything to drink. Oh, wow. I guess I gotta get a Pepsi. Okay, hold on. You, you can talk to them. Mm. So today was our last, one of our last days until like maybe next week of good weather. We had like, what did you say? Went up to 81 and yesterday. Two, day, two days of 81, that was yeah, lovely. Yeah, but today it rained, I guess it stormed a little bit. I didn't hear it, I was I was sleeping. I, like I said in the other video, our schedule's completely off. So I was sleeping and I guess it didn't storm that long or that hard because it didn't wake me up like normally it, it would. The thunder would be loud and um, wake me up. It's funny because think about this guys, so today we went we got to 81 or 82 i forgot what it what the fish what the top top was and it's going to drop tonight all the way down to like 42 or 44 yeah, so like a 40 be... degree drop in a day mercy and yes last night between the yesterday and today it was like 61 or something um i'm gonna start eating okay um so tomorrow's supposed to be cold again and windy and i think a little overcast great so also, let us know in the comments down below if you have any Easter plans going on because I believe this weekend coming up, the 11th or the 12th, that weekend, uh, is Easter weekend. I know it's not going to be the same. You know, we um, can't go out to family's houses and some can't go to church and things like that. So <clears throat> let us know if you have any Easter plans. Are you doing any Easter egg hunts for the kids? If you have any or nieces and nephews that you live with. So yeah, um, anything you want to say? Mm. Any reminders or? Not to anybody, Mike. Wait till you <laughs> done chewing. <clears throat> not that anybody necessarily cares, but thinking about what she's saying about the Easter weekend and not being able to hang out, I was watching some um, I was watching some news down from Argentina today, and they were saying that you know lots of people want to travel and they. All those kind of things for Easter, but they're on a whole countrywide lockdown, and the they president came out today and said, "Are they Catholic?" Okay, I'm asking. I didn't ask you to get smart. Thank you. Anyway, it's a predominantly Catholic country, like all Latin American countries. But um, I'm not trying to be smart ass. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, well, I didn't know because I don't know what everybody like. I mean, I don't know, so people who watch may not know. What Fair enough. Anyway, so, but the president said today, came out today and said, number one, we're extending the lockdown until one more, one more, a third week in April. But in addition to that, that if you decide to take a chance and drive out to the coast or drive out to whatever in your car to, for Easter weekend or whatever and think, oh, whatever, I'm going to go see and not respect the, the rule that's in place. If they catch you, they're going to stop you. And they're going to, besides finding you, they're going to confiscate your car. Oh. So... When don't do you get it back? You don't. You may never get it back. They confiscate it. They take it and you don't get it back. Mm. So, wow. Anyway, all right, so Delisha's going to ask me some questions. Oh, what else can I remind Talk you about? Talk about the difference in, like... I know. Well, I know. And in Latin American countries, that's the problem that we have, which is that the executive branch has a lot more power compared to the other two branches. So the checks and balances that we have in the United States they just don't have um, and that's why a lot of the problems continue to happen and you know you, generation after generation and things don't change it's it's kind of a shame but kind of a shame I mean it is it's a shame because 
you know, everybody needs to choose what they want, right? What they want to vote for and everything. But at the end of the day, it's hard when all your family's down there, you see them suffering with certain things. They're going through certain things that you know, and, and even my, my family's pretty smart and they whatever, but you know, they know they don't have to go through that kind of stuff either, but it just happens and there's nothing you can do about it. It's feeling helpless watching your family go through things that you don't have to go through kind of sucks, but you know. You ready? Yes. By the way, guys, before we get the quiz started, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell if you would, share the channel with and everybody. And welcome to the new subscribers, actually. That's a good point. We jumped in quite a few subscribers. Sub new subscribers, so yes. thanks for subscribing. We hope you stick around. Um, and yes, yeah. to all the new subscribers and everybody else, we haven't forgotten, and still, it's on schedule for next week on April 15th. We will be announcing the winner of the $500 giveaway. So uh, check that video out. Don't miss it, and it'll be coming. Ready for the quiz? Yeah. All right, she's gonna quiz me. I'll answer for. Did you hear? Yeah, you want to repeat it for them? How, op how often do you post updates on Facebook? Um, Whenever you have something interesting to say, a few times in a day, <laughs> about twenty times in a day. That's the, that's the, which one are you? I guess I know which way you when are. I, whenever I have something interesting. Yeah. Never. So, you, never. so you're the, the first one. Yeah, that's me. Okay. How about you, Delisha? Uh, um, we'll talk about me after. Oh. I don't want to make this the long video. Okay. You don't even really check. No, I got they, they send him requests, but like uh, recommendations. Uh, but no, but those are two different things. No, I know. I'm saying, but you don't, you don't really check your Facebook notifications. So no, oh, but I don't get that many requests. I only approved or accepted my close, close friends or people okay, that I really want consider. The so yes, <laughs> I didn't know there were options this time. There's always options. Maybe two or three. Maybe two or three. Uh -huh. Maybe two or three. About ten. About ten. None. <laughs> and this is in how, how many, how many friend requests? Do I get per day? Um, how many friend requests do you get on Facebook on a daily basis? None. 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 Then I would say none. It's not on a daily basis that I get them. Very what? once in a blue moon because I keep all of my close friends as friends. So. What people can send you requests even if they don't know you. But they don't. But I'm saying you don't even get on enough to really know. Like for. Oh, wait. <laughs> um, what? I was gonna say, like today, for example, I got a friend request from a friend of of a friend of hers, who I don't even know. So yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna accept her because it just doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. Right. I, I don't know her, and I'm the same way. If I don't know you, just because we have mutual friends doesn't mean I'm gonna accept you. I don't see a point. Mm. Plus. I'm not interested in seeing what she has to write because I don't know her, and therefore she shouldn't be interested in the things I have to write. So what's the point of having a friend? I don't know. But... How many times have you changed your profile picture on Facebook? Two. No, three. Maybe two or three. <laughs> I, I, when I started it, I had her take a picture of me out, out back. This is, my, this is my personal one we're talking about, right? And then I changed it. To one that I took a selfie of myself when we were in a hotel that I liked that it looked a little better, and then today I switched it to one of my one of our professional pictures. Yeah. Just By the way, check better. out that vlog. Maybe you can put it up above so they can. Maybe. If they, you don't have. To, they don't have to search. Okay, let's see the options. Okay. After every vacation, when you have a better picture to post. No. <laughs> after every vacation, when you have. A, Go ahead. After the first one was after every vacation when you have something to post. And the second is. About twice or thrice until now. <laughs> I never heard that one. You change your profile picture every day. Oh, you change Whoa. your profile picture every day. That's ridiculous. Yeah, no. Nah. You must is be there, really is there a fourth option? No. You must be really unsettled with your Facebook picture if you change it every day. I'd have to pick D, none of the above. I would okay, is this going to be the second one? No, twice or thrice a day, I thought. Well, I, I guess. So. No, no. no none of those. I, I really don't change it much. I wish there was a skip option. So what just do you pay, want? Pay, pay twice or thrice a day, I guess. Okay. You want to recommend or uh, relay that? Mm -hmm. Um. Uh. Hold on. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> My friend. <brain. laughs> just summarize it. Like, uh, how many likes do you receive? On your post. 
give me my options. Okay, give you options. Whenever you post anything when you were funny. Whenever. I'm oh, sorry, I keep forgetting. <laughs> Whenever I post something funny. You keep getting likes all the time even if you don't post anything particularly interesting. I get likes all the time even if I don't post anything interesting. <laughs> I haven't got any Facebook likes on Facebook at all. Dang. I would say I'm probably no. I say A. Maybe A when I post something. No. But like, I, ooh. <laughs> was that necessary? <laughs> We're doing a video here. I'm gonna settle down, sweetheart. Anyway, <laughs> no, no, but <laughs> come on, I'm gonna time out. <laughs> anyway, no, I was since I only post things when they're. I think they're meaningful or worthwhile, then I would say I get likes or I get responses on everything that I post yeah. just because it's funny. Nice. <laughs> Probably option A mm -hmm. when I post something funny or whatever. How often do I get tagged in pictures on pictures on Facebook? Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for my options. Once in a while. Once in a while. Very, often. Very often. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Uh, hardly ever. Pro well. I tag you and stuff, but... Yeah, that's, that's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I tag you, sweetie. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you can go with your with your cousin, you know, Jennifer to prom or so. It's like <laughs> family feeling bad for me. It's like pity shit. Yeah, yeah I, would, I, <laughs> I would say what she said. Yeah, no, just once in a blue moon when she your family hasn't tagged you since we you know went back from Argentina mm. have they posted any pictures or <clears throat> mm -mm. okay so never you wanna, put, <laughs> you wanna put never or um hear the options again why why do you love using Facebook oh so that you can be in touch with your friends so that you can be in touch with your friends so that you can meet new people so that you can hunt for some potential dates so that I can hunt for potential dates I'm gonna have to say C <laughs> Bob no uh <laughs> Although Facebook the does problem, have a dating section, the now. problem is it's a trick question because I don't really love Facebook. No offense, Facebook. I'm, I'm, I'm I have a hard time with social media. It's not, it's not He's, natural. Oh, uh, thirty. So yeah, I'm uh thirty. So <laughs> my now, grandma uses Facebook more than him, <laughs> and she's sixty. I'm not supposed to say that out loud. <clears throat> Sorry, she's sixteen. Uh, anyway, no, <laughs> probably just to meet up with old people. I, I found some old oh, potential dates. Oh. <laughs> no, I found some um old friends. Old friends from when I first got to the uh the place I went to high school the first couple of years. They were a little bit older than me and I found all of them so it's kinda nice. Say to where find we went to high school and know where we met video so it's okay to say it. No, I'm not hiding I'm just oh. I didn't want to bore them with all that but Oh no, you just say the ISBI. School for the Vision Impaired. <laughs> so um, I wanted them to search the letters. Oh my god. But yeah, so it was, it was, that, that's kind of nice, but once you find them, once I find them and everything, I don't, I don't sit there and read what they're posting or anything. I'm not yeah, I had to tell him to get on Facebook to like, like, if there's something interesting that was posted. Uh, so which one? A, I think it was. So that you can be in touch with your friends. Yeah. Yes, once or twice. Have you been able to get any job offers or any other opportunities through your Facebook connections? No. Mm -mm. Yes. Have I been able to get any any job opportunities or make any business connections through Facebook? No. None. Um, None. But I haven't been trying either. Never. You, you, you already had a job when you created your Facebook, I think. No. I created after. Oh. Well, you had a job. You were headed to a job when you made your, made your first Facebook. Mm, Years that's ago. That's right. That's right. Um, okay, so. No. If my employer saw my Facebook profile, would it harm, or an employer, would it harm my chances of getting a job? Let's see the answers. Absolutely not. Yeah. Not really. never this. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I don't, I don't post anything. Never. Yeah, definitely not. What never. about that video of you dancing in your underwear? Oh, I forgot about that one. <laughs> Do you use a lot of abbreviations and words posting text No. On <laughs> Do I use a lot of abbreviations and what? 
uh, F words. And F words. No, I don't use a lot of F words or abbreviations. Yeah, I never. Hold on. I have a genuine Wait, wait, this is longer. Alright, basically I have a genuine Facebook personality. I have decided to I use it only for for keeping in touch with my friends. I I use it more as an extension of my, my real personality and that's why it's a genuine, honest clean, reflection boring. clean, boring page. Yeah, sorry. Like I don't like I was to gonna say, do you want me to share some Hello. <laughs> Do you want me to share this on Facebook and tag all your friends? No, thank you. Because there's a share option. <laughs> anyway, that was a fun test. Maybe next time we'll do it with her. So, so I was I'll not send it to you in WhatsApp. First, I have to say, guys, before we do this, move on to the YooHoo. <laughs> I must say that I was sending a group too. This does not taste as good as it usually does. I don't know what's what's Mine going on. Mine tasted cool, like cool. Mine like was on cold. the cooler side, also, and it seemed like it's like the last little bit that they got in the store that they're trying to get rid of before they close today. All right, that's why you should. My thing that I've learned is you talk like about YooHoo. My thing that I've learned is, uh, especially when I ordered from Popeyes before, I think I ordered twice. That, that, that's not you who the <laughs> when I ordered twice that's not you who when I uh, <laughs> from Popeyes at in the evening time it was always cold or like cooled off not even hot like they didn't even take the time to cook it oh excuse me for those of you who right. haven't seen it before go you closer who? turn it around turn it around um anyway the food is like cooled off and they didn't fry up a new batch of chicken because our driver was making made it made another delivery stop along the way so like, really that, yeah it, it said that to me oh wow i didn't know That's you could do that with the delivery stuff too so i believe you're supposed to shake it up in the book what did it say in the book they said that he says sh he shakes it up beforehand so we're going to give this a try guys and it's not a carbonated drink so it's not like it's going to explode on me okay i think you should get enough I want to keep shaking. No, but I was. I want to keep shaking. Oh. No, what did the thing say in the book? What did he say? The 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 words apparently said, but we haven't found them on the. Oh yeah, can. It apparently it said that shake it up on the can or shake it up. Well, maybe it's carbonated. Well, that's lovely. <laughs> Something has obviously changed <laughs> since 1985. Ow, my elbow. <laughs> Boy. Uh, Just so you know, guys, these our videos aren't really edited very much, as you can see. <laughs> you're all seeing this. Okay. No, it didn't explode. Uh, it's like... <laughs> okay, so let's uh, give this a shot. Wait, should you stand over there instead of the... Huh? No, uh, it's already open. No, I didn't know if it's all right, open as a mouth. Hello. Let's give this a try. I got two phones. <laughs> you ain't even moving around in your mouth. You just quickly swallowed it. Mm. It tastes like a. I don't even know. It tastes like a thin, slushy version of like those insured drinks. Oh, oh no, oh no! I'm not trying that, then. Right. Oh, that's the closest thing I can associate with. You want to try it? Oh. Da de pronto y. Prueba, prueba, prueba. It doesn't smell like insured. No, it doesn't. It's my chocolate milk. No. no it tastes like chocolate pudding. Right. Like flat chocolate pudding with no sugar. <laughs> flat chocolate pudding, but it has a lot of sugar. Really? Mm -hmm. It tastes like flat. Like, you know how you freeze something and um, sometimes it doesn't have the same taste as it did before because all the water, like all the ice, watered it down. But this tastes more like chocolate milk than chocolate pudding to me, excuse me. Sorry, mm -hmm. I must disagree. Well, Somewhere in between. Yeah, I was gonna say my chocolate milk experience. I don't know. It's maybe I, maybe school chocolate pudding, cafeteria chocolate pudding, but I'm in chocolate milk. That was gross. I didn't like those. Well, 
Anyway, guys, if you want to give it a shot for yourselves, give it a try. You can order it at your local grocery store, yeah, right? Yeah, you can go to your grocery store. Apparently, this has been around since 1928. Get out. So, but I, I, I don't remember anybody, any of my friends drinking this in my, in my public school days, elementary, junior high, or even when I went to high school, school version of it. Nobody ever mentioned this. I mean, yeah. I don't know how they still, they're still alive. Or who the hell and this is the only it? flavor, too. Like, they don't have it. Variety of flavors. Ooh, it's just one thing. No very no variety of flavors. No special this. No promo. None. It's just one uh, damn. Thing. I'm wondering if they paid the author to mention it in the books because it's funny. The, the character drinks it a lot. Well, I was reading a I was reading a message board discussion about it. It was like from 2003 or something somewhere, and somebody was saying that. I wonder. If that's exactly what they said. I wonder if there was a product placement thing because they're like, I never heard of the drink before either. I wonder if he got the author got paid to mention it or to talk about it mm. and make the character drink it. Yes. Oh wait, but it's not in a Netflix. It's not a Netflix series. No. But I was gonna say I wonder if it would be in the in the show. The no, no, no. All right. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed um, our second day of week three of quarantine, or our second video of the day. This is our Thursday. Yes. Um, Even though today's technically Wednesday. But yeah, so we hope you enjoyed. Uh, hopefully it's not too long and even if it is we're all stuck indoors so you could like watch it yeah. and then if you need to get up to start dinner you can keep it playing and Whatever. you know how the kids watch it hopefully, and hopefully we entertain curious, you a little bit if you're curious about the little quiz app that i did i used was i had this on my phone since i have the 4s and i just all my apps got copied over when I switched to my 6S. I know, super old version of the phone, but it still works, and I like that the home button moves. So the app that I have, it does. The The one that the other phones, it, it wiggles a bit or it vibrates, but it doesn't push in like mm -hmm. actual. So I don't like that. So the app that I use for the quiz, and it has plenty of them, um, it's called Fun Quiz Cards, and it, they updated the app a little bit, but nothing major it's a basic app and it's it's i used to just sit up at night when i couldn't sleep when i first moved down here and i would uh play them um, like do the little quizzes when i couldn't sleep so if you want to play some games with your boyfriend girlfriend or family um you should try that one and i don't i think it was free so i must say one more thing before we close <laughs> this out for the day the more shifts I'm taking of this, it's giving me a, I don't want to say a queasy feeling, but it's giving me a really weird feeling. I didn't grow, uh, I didn't grow up drinking milk. I'm not, I was never a milk drinker. And I don't know if it's just because, I don't know <laughs> well, what, but I have this. drinking it then? I don't know. I'm just now realizing that's why I put it down. But anyway. Are you sure it's not the food? No, I think it's this. Oh, okay. But well, that was a dud. Now we have a, like uh, 11... You have a, 11 more cans. A, yeah. oh, we'll probably take you downstairs in our lobby. Maybe somebody... Maybe the um, security guards, since they're older than us, know about it. <laughs> One guy's like my age. I haven't seen him. So... Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. And enjoy... Don't forget... Like, the, comment, subscribe. And share this video with friends and family. And... There's a giveaway going on. Yes. Don't forget to miss that. Don't forget to check that out because April 15th, Again? we announced the winner. You still have time to jump in and yes. join the contest. So, and um, it's also throughout uh, my socials Twitter, uh, my uh, <clears throat> business Facebook, and Instagram. So, and if you haven't already seen, her Twitter, Facebook, Instagram are all at the bottom of this video. I was just going to ask them what do they think about that. Oh, what do you think about that? No, I'm saying I was going to ask them if you didn't notice anything different, but since since he told you, let us know if you like the setup. I burst the bubble. Um, it's, we're trying something new. Let us know if you like the color, the layout, because uh, we can also change the color too, but we think black is easier to see with the less, colors of the Twitter app and Instagram and stuff. So. Yeah, it's the less intrusive of the other colors that we can find. All right, guys, we'll see you next week. Have a great weekend, and hopefully don't forget to join in that $500 giveaway. I don't want you to miss out, and we'll see you next Monday. Monday. Bye, guys.